Hello friends, welcome to LMS Solution Research Support. In this video, we are going to discuss about a fantastic AI tool which will be very very useful for our for your research analysis. So those who are starting your research or those who are uh, struggling with your research work, you can make use of this AI tool to get better results. So this is a tool where you can get answers for the questions you are you having in mind related your work. In this AI tool, you will be getting answers for your research questions. So this will be a fantastic AI tool where you can uh, get your uh, uh, research question answered. So the AI tool what we are going to discuss today is that Lumina chat. So this is the AI tool. So after just Google to Google uh, Lumina chat and you will be getting a dashboard like this here, a AI powered research suit. So after that, you can enter your Gmail ID and you can log in with your ID. So email ID after this uh, dashboard like this will be enabled. So here you can uh, have a option called. So first uh, we will discuss what is the Lumina is all about. So that way you will get a clear idea. So you can uh, that is uh, chat over 300k journal articles. That way you can ask questions related any technical uh, questions related with your area. Uh, your questions will be answered with a particular reference uh, or any sources from that particular paper. So and also you can see here you can see ask a question. Lumina will provide cited answers for any query with open source articles. Dig into topic and test a hypothesis. So next one create collections. F found relevant sources of Lumina. Add them to your collection with your docs for your focused research assistant so become an expert leverage the power of LLM models learn the specifies find correct correlations between studies and develop ideas so these are the things you can do so especially ask questions so here I am going to start my conversation what is I am going to ask is first I am going to ask a basic question related with my electrical subject so what I am going to ask is what is the difference between voltage source inverter and a current source inverter so I am going to ask a question like this so here uh, generating answer it will take several seconds to generate the answer for the questions so we will see how it will answer our questions so here our answer is started so a voltage source inverter you can see a voltage source inverter and a current source inverter are two different types of inverters in power electronic system. A VSI is a type of inverter where input is fixed DC voltage source such as a battery or a DC power. The VSI converts DC voltage into AC output which can be controlled in terms of frequency, amplitude and waveform. The most commonly used type of VSI is the PWM voltage source inverter which offers advantages like fast response, precision control and the ability to produce an AC output in sinusoidal waveform. On the other hand, CAC is a, CSA is a type of inverter where input is fixed current source. So like that, uh, you can see the difference and the summary of that particular difference also will be getting. In summary, the main difference between VSI and CSI lies in the type of input they require and, they, and the type of the output they produce. If ESI takes fixed DC voltage source, uh, CSI takes fixed current input and produce AC output voltage. So these are the sources where it has taken and also you can see uh, this, this is the recent references. So you can click more sources <coughs> and you can see the more papers related with that particular topic. So this is a fantastic option. So you don't want to struggle with your research questions and uh, the questions you have in mind related your research work you can go on this tool and you can ask the questions and get an idea about the answer you uh, I, I may not promise that you can get the perfect answer you want but I am assured that it will give some relevant answer which is related to the to your that is perfect answer so thereby you can make use of this option to familiarize with your answers so next uh, next important thing is that I am going in depth and asking some uh, other differences so uh, many of the electrical people will know that uh, that is a, a bidirectional we can say tell it is a bidirectional converter and a multiport converter so in a bidirectional converter uh, there will be another converter uh, which is connected parallelly with another type of converter that is two converter will be connected in parallel with two different sources and they uh, they can 
charge and discharge especially when while connecting battery we will use bidirectional converter so it will charge and discharge vice versa so like that uh, that that is we call as a bidirectional converter and another one is a multi port converter in which yeah, at a point a, at a port where you are uh, that is the second source will be connected so there will there must be a difference between a multi port converter and a bidirectional converter let us see how it will answer the question for that that is uh, we are going to ask that what is the difference between what is the difference between bidirectional and multi port converter so another important thing is why i am going i am asking for a question is that what is the difference between so uh, that that can prove that whether it will generate correct answer or not and also it justifies whether which is correct which is not correct so like that it will justify also so so only i am asking like this in in my chat so let us see how it will generate <coughs> content so here a bidirectional converter is a type of converter that can transfer power in both direction allowing bi bidirectional power flow it is commonly used in applications where power needs to be transferred back and forth between two sources and loads as i already told especially we are using your your battery as a second source and will charge and discharge battery vice versa on the other hand a multi port converter is a converter that has multiple inputs or output ports allowing the power transfer between multiple sources and loads where bidirectional power transfer in two direction multi port power transfer port among multiple ports enabling simultaneously power flow between any two ports in summary the main difference between this two converters is the number of ports and capability of simultaneous power flow among multiple ports so this is what it will generate so and also you can see the sources for that particular uh, answer it is generated next i am going to give here you can see a two options elaborate and simplify i am going to click elaborate so let us see how an elaborated answer will be generated for that particular question we have asked we'll wait so here you can see this is the maximum elaborated content it is generated after that i have clicked more sources clicked more sources you can see what are the different uh, re relevant topic papers related with that particular question also generated for example i am going to click this a vehicle simulator for an efficient electronic and electrical architecture design so here i am going to click this option so in this you will see you can add this paper to your collection or you can chat with your source or you can download this paper also so what i am going to do is i am going to click chat so here you can ask a question explain about vehicle simulator so like that i am going to ask the question let us see wh whether it will generate answers or not so here for that particular paper it will generate the answer so a vehicle simulator you can see these are the you can see here the vehicle simulator is a tool used in development process of electrical and electronic architecture for a vehicles so like that it will analyze that question and it will uh, make a crisp answer from this paper and it will give that uh, answer for that question so while while you are doing literature review or literature survey you can make use of this <coughs> option to analyze your paper for example if you are study if you are going for a study of a lit uh, reference paper of your research article so thereby you will be having some of the important uh, questions related with that reference paper so in order to clarify that particular uh, doubt in that particular reference paper so you can make use of this lumina chat and you can copy and paste your uh, title and you can ask for a question in that particular paper itself thereby it will analyze that particular paper alone and it will generate the answer for your questions so it is a fantastic option where you can analyze your research paper easily thereby you can get a clear idea about what you about the objective of your research work so you can make use of this option especially those who are pr uh, preparing review paper you will be having enormous question related with your references so how it is came how that uh, that can become what is the difference between these two techniques or two optimization techniques like that many question will arise while doing while studying your reference papers so thereby you can make use of this lumina chat to get your reference uh, that is your research questions answered so uh, i I, have, I am already telling that uh, that you cannot get the perfect answer but it will uh, 
give a it will pay a way to that answer also answer that is what i am going to tell is that it will get your answers which is closely to your perfect answers so thereby you can make use of this option to get your research questions get answered hope this video will be very helpful for you lumina chat go on to that and you can explore this lumina chat so you can also avail different options as i already told you can see you can add different papers in this lumina chat also so it will act as a ai assistant and uh, you can make use of this uh, ai assistant to chat to go, go for a chat and you can generate uh, whatever you want according to the input prompt you are giving related with that particular research paper so this is a uh, be better one of the better tool for your research so make use of this option Hope this video will be very helpful for you. Thank you for watching our videos. Have a nice day. Thank you.